So high expectations is something that teachers would have heard a lot of. You need to have high expectations of your students. Um, but I think putting it into practice has been more challenging for people. And the concept of high expectations, um, which has come about through a lot of research, is that um, it has a couple of key principles. And one is that you've got to have a lot of care for your students. Um, so it's about building relationships and building trust. And then the second part is about providing um, multiple advanced opportunities for learning, which often teachers don't realise they're not doing. Low expectations would mean that students do not develop the skills to think for themselves. They'll see learning probably as knowing the right answer, not that there might be more than one answer or it's about justifying the answer or thinking more critically about what you're doing. So those are the opportunities they miss. And um, with today's like, climate of change everywhere, everything's changing so rapidly, actually we need to be developing those skills in our students so they've got a better chance to cope with what's ahead. The presentation I gave to the teachers to start building the belief around high expectations and exposing them to those ideas was partly the research and so the background that I've just explained and the second part was actually my own inquiry so as a teacher the most recent inquiry I did into my practice using the high expectations model and um, I had good relationships with my students already so I was really focusing on providing multiple um, advanced opportunities to learn and so I shared that with them I showed the statistics of what the students had done in their previous year um, gave them some examples of the different things we did and then was able to show the increase in student achievement and one of the things I think that stood out the most was the number of students in my class that weren't my target group also had big improvements um, so I think that was a significant thing. Yeah, I thought the uh, building belief um, presentation was really insightful and thought-provoking. Um, it was good to have someone experienced in it uh, come to talk to us. Um, I think as teachers we're creatures of habit so it's always good to have an outside voice um, and, and a new voice uh, being able to explain it to us. A part of high expectations teaching itself is that you believe you can make a difference for the students. I think if you don't believe in it then you will, might try something out of compliance but you don't understand or get the reason behind it, so you don't really have that ownership going in. The High Expectations Building Belief uh, presentation uh, changed my way of thinking in terms of giving my students the chance to think, giving them opportunities within the uh, classroom to think. I think as teachers we all have high expectations, but I think for me uh, it was recognising and developing opportunities to uh, see higher order thinking um, through my teaching. We are very aware that students will have all sorts of things going in their lives that might make it harder for them to learn, but it's about the teacher having the belief that while they're with me, I can make a difference for those students. And that's really underpins high expectations teaching itself.